Let's go. This is my resistance. I see the enemies from a distance. Listen, I know it's my name that they mention. They want to know my intention. Well, I think it's about time for a new order. I'm ready for the danger. I'm built for it. I walk through the dark and I push forward. This is my time and I'm coming for it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I got my dad's credit card anyways. Oh, perfect. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> at Faded Culture or do you want to work at the Barber Plug? Yo, what up? It's your boy. I am the Barber Plug back again with another episode of Clipper Shopping at the Barber Plug. Today, I am super excited to bring on this guest, man. He's coming all the way from Florida. He's a Tune 45 ambassador. He's a YouTube monster. Even dabbled in the rap game. What's his name? Poppy Beans. <laughs> You don't really want it like I got it. You don't want it. Ah. I'm a monster with a problem. What's going on, bro? What's up, baby? How you doing? Man? I'm all right, bro. I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta fix something. I'm not an ambassador. I'm an owner of Tone 45. Okay, you know? okay, okay. Those are my business partners. Right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're all about business. I seen you brought the bag. Now explain to me what this is right here. Uh, this is Loud at Mercy. This is one of the hottest brands that's growing right now. Y'all know my videos. I always say that I'm in my duffel, so I have to bring it with me at the barber plug. I love it. We're gonna I love fill it. this up with some jewels today. You know, I'm gonna take y'all on a trip. All right, let's get it. Let's go fill let's this bag up. Some clip Anytime, any place. Anytime, any place. Anybody, it don't matter. Anywhere, any day. Any day, any day. Bean, man, it's great to have you in the house. You looking good, man. You got the 2006 Wayne dreads when he was really in his prime. You got the J's on. I know you're doing good now, but I kind of want to go back to the beginning, right? Uh, because growing up as a young black male in Chicago, it's a lot of different options you can take with your life. A lot of people choose sports. A lot of people choose the streets, but you chose to go to college? Yeah, college after high first. school. Yeah, okay. College first. How was that in college? Because obviously you, you didn't finish, right? No, I finished. You finished? Yeah, I finished. I, okay. got, I got a bachelor's degree. So you got your bachelor's in what? In electronics engineering, and then my minor in computer engineering. You got that degree, but obviously you're not using it. I actually do use it because every product from Tune 45 that has my name on it, I personally developed it and designed it myself. So what? I use my degree, but oh I don't my. use my degree. So you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Your journey and your uh, trajectory is, is really cool. How you growing your following and you are where you are now, what would you say have been some of the, the key factors to separate yourself from, you know, a barber who wants to be like you? The number one is originality. Like, if you not yourself, it's going to show. Whether it's going to show early, if it's going to show mid in your career or late in your career. Mm -hmm. If you're not true to yourself and original to yourself, then you're going to always see flaw in it, especially when the real looking at you. So uh, originality is very important. Your education, meaning in terms of how witty you are mentally, like how you can basically see and break things down and educate others to be just as great as you. You know, my dad tell me that every rip, like how great is a man if you can't make another great man? Mm. So that's my thing. That's why I educate, you get what I mean? And yeah. that education for me is my biggest part next to my originality. Cause if I can't make another version of me, then how great am I for real? So do you feel like having your dad in the household, was he in the household with you growing up? Uh, yeah, my dad was in, in the household with me majority of my time growing up. Did that play a major role in helping sharpen you up as a young man and keeping you away from the things that Chicago might have to indulge in? Definitely, because my dad was the first form of a barber that I seen. That's mm. who I learned my game from. That's who gave me everything that I know and things of that nature is because he was the neighborhood barber who would sit on the porch, cut all of my friends' hair and my hair all day the day before school and you know, I just wanted that vibe. I wanted to be able to not only just service people, but give out the dopest haircuts because we didn't have a barber shop that was close to us in Chicago. Mm. The closest barber shop I believe was like 20 minutes. Everybody wasn't eating the same, so you get what I mean? Yeah. For us being less than unfortunate people, only thing I had to do was sweep the porch to get free haircuts. <laughs> and my so. pops held it down on the block. So yeah, that was definitely my first 
you know, my first visual sight of what a real barber was. So yeah, definitely. I think that's really cool. I was talking to my wife the other day about how, uh, you know, different races, right? You might have a, a guy who's been in the beauty industry for a long time because his grandpa had a beauty supply store. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times us as blacks, we just haven't been uh, business owners. So for your dad to help you take that step into being where you are, I think that's amazing. Uh, is Pop still cutting? Uh, he stopped cutting years ago. Like once I took off, he basically retired. Mm. He felt like he did everything that he needed to do. Cause him teaching me to be a barber was not the job that I believe he wanted me to do. He just wanted me to be able to go to college and not have to do work study and things of that yeah. nature to pay for my books. He wanted me to go there with a trade that I could make money with and pay for my books. Cause you know, fast food is crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. I know, I still got time. student loan debt. Yeah, so things yeah. of that nature. That's all it was. Like, barbering for me was a way of feeding myself before I actually got into the real world or was an adult, so. So you were cutting in college? Yeah, I was cutting in college all day. Okay. You're a sharp, I don't know if you're older or younger than me, but you're a sharp <laughs> man. So you want to check out some sharp tools behind us? And man, I'm ready. Start getting ready. this bag filled let's up. Fill this bag up. All right, let's get it. So, Ben, before we get to the Clippers, which is the exciting part, we got to stop over here first. I want to ask you about this 245 no drill enhancement color. Were you involved in the creation of that as well? I mean, yeah, we when we created a wireless cordless compressor, we had to have a color that came with it. And with a color coming with it, not only do you not want it semi-permanent, but you want a color that can stay. You want a color that's non-chemical based so you don't have to patch test. You also want a non-chemical based color that can basically stain skin and that is waterproof. So it came with all of those perks and it smelled good. So this is definitely one of the foundations to some of my classes and things of that nature, but it's the number one seller for 245 right now. So. Hey man, talk your stuff. That's what I'm talking definitely. about. Yeah, so you know, a lot of the old schools, it took them a while to really jump on the wave of the yeah. enhancements, but you're a pioneer. Are you using it on all clients? So me, I'm a 99 percenter, and with me being a 99 percenter, 99 percent of my clients take color enhancement, uh -huh. so that's what I do. I am the color guy. Precision is my world, That hence being. Like, that's what my name means. So yeah. if we starting here at accessories, I know for a fact I want every color that's up here right now. Give me this whole row. You give it all to you. I got you. Give me the whole roll of shaving gel too. So we're going to add that on there. Anything else in here you see that makes your cut your cut? Dude. Well, yeah. Doing a lot of YouTube and content creation is two things that's still up here. That is the ISO Plus Dramatic Shine mm. or because it look like you vaping above somebody's head when you're spraying this. So, you know, oh, you want fine. that real smoky look. Yeah. It's just for cinematics for my video when I spend my client on their last thing and I need a medium and every color glove. All of the things that I need or that I'm grabbing from you today and just accessories, I need it every video, so. Let me ask you this before we go to the clip. The Beam XL gun is huge. Why is it so big? It's for heavy color users who want to be on the road. So for me, like, you know, the smaller enhancement guns, they all is like one times airflow. The PSI on them is very low minimum. They can't compete with the big tanks that's on the ground. When we created XL, mm -hmm. we wanted the same experience from XL, but we wanted you to be on the go with it if color is your thing. So we gonna get a medium size? Yeah. Okay, all right, that's all I want to make sure of. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, let's go over here and get these clippers, man. All right, man. All right, B. I know this looks like a candy store. Got a whole bunch of tools to choose from, but I'm checking out the swag. Yeah. You got the 11s? Yeah. If I'm not lying, I really like the cool grades, but those are clean, too. Yeah. What was the first pair of either Jays, Nikes, whatever it was, that you saved up to get? First pair that I ever saved up to get it's life changing. I still got them to this day. <laughs> what? I was in fourth grade, 2004 OG Linen TNC. So, okay, I had a pair of 13s. That was my first pair of Jordans. Yeah. They got stolen out of my locker. Oh, Broke my heart. Tough. What would you say is like the Nike Jordan when it comes to these brands right here? Okay, who's, who's the, Nike? the Nike? Okay, who's the Nike? I'm rolling here. This For is real? the Nike. They listen to the industry more than everybody. They got the most innovative tools. They have done everything that everybody has ever asked for. Mm -hmm. And all of this stuff is patent. You don't see this again. Yeah, yeah. See, that's, that's, that's where that college, you know, that that's education. That's originality. Yeah, you are right. Dennis is Phil Knight. Was this your first pair of Clippers that you bought? First pair of Clippers ever was handed down to me. I had an OG pair of masters. I got them tattooed on my arm. Man, a lot of OG barbers have masters. the masters yeah, tattooed, yeah, tattooed on, on my arm. And I always think like, okay, now you probably, you know, like yeah. another brand more, but it's the sentimental value, right? Yeah, sentimental value, ripped cord. I still got them to this day. Like, mm. they'll always forever be somewhere 
in one of my drawers. I, I just you. won't use them. So is there anything that you see from the Babyless line you want to grab today? Oh, yeah. I really, 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 the all really blacks. like these right here. Okay, what is it with the all black? Everybody who comes, I don't know what it is about the customers. I know myself. I just like that organized look. I like that black look. It's just, it's dark, it's consistent, mm -hmm. and it don't get no better than that. So I know I want these for sure. I was watching an episode that another educator or big timer was talking about that I believe a lot of people sleep on this person and this clipper. And it was J Majors. I'm Majors talking about the black FX3s. Oh, these right here? That is one of my favorite clippers when it comes to trimming, shaping up anything. This You're is, using these? Yes. Okay. And the reason that I'm using these is because a lot of people in industry like levers, which is uh, understandable, something that you're used to, you're gonna use the levers. If you're able to get through that lever system and create a comfortability with this slide system, we talking about a clipper that motor is stronger than damn near everything on this wall. Mm -hmm. So in terms of consistency, I like this. This is my freehander, so I want one of these as well. Okay, bet I'll add one of these in there. Another clipper that surprised me was those chameleons. Oh, that lever on those is sweet. They changed the lever. I believe sweet. now it opens up a little bit as more. As you can hear, it's like make almost a kiss noise. Like uh -huh. it's not clicky. There's something about it that creates this consistentness that I just like. It flows. You so. said it flows. You flow too. You rap, right? Yeah, I do a little bit of this. Can we get a little flow for the Hopefully show? Hopefully towards the end of this. All right, all right. Sounds towards good. So we're going to add, session. we're going to do a chameleon. Yeah. We're going to do an FX3. We're going to black you out. Man, so you're not going to mix match the designer? You ain't going to go LV with Gucci? You're going to say, so, oh, babyless? I'm just trying to see what I haven't used, OK? So it's like, these is OG, always great. Mm -hmm. But these is, I, a lot of people hate them, but they special to me for some reason. Yeah. I like Mythics as well. They're heavy. Yeah. But you know, I come from a master. That's a naturally yeah. heavy clipper. But I think a strong second V saber. Saber? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll add you a saber on there. I don't want to break your pockets too much, so we can move to the trimmer roll. Unless you want to keep going. I came with the duffel bag. So. <laughs> you did. You <laughs> did. Y'all understand and know me. Uh, yeah. The duffel bag always full. I see something up here that should be on display, but this right here. Oh yeah. I want two of these. Yeah. Let's. The let's charging power down. base. Okay, so man, they released this at CT, right? Yes, sir. And I say they, but I mean y'all. Cause you're an yeah. owner. How's it performing? Is, are people liking it? Are you using it at your station? Uh, when it comes to the wireless charging pod base, it is literally me. To me, the most innovative thing in the game in terms of charging right now. Everything on this wall can sit on here. You're right. You're right. You're That's right. the difference. More so, timely. Right now, we can use this. I'm gonna need this, and I'm gonna need that low pro. Okay. I got charging you. pod for yeah. that one. Yeah, we can put that. And on. And do there. you have a Babyless charging pod? Now, we're going to get there on the accessory wall and all ah. that. we just going to do the clippers for now. And, and this right here is a gift from y'all. I'm not going to charge you for this. OK, cool. Yeah, so I can roll with that. All right, well, let's go check out some trimmers then. Let's go check out my trimmers. All right, Beam, so I don't want to get straight into the trimmers. I know that you're doing really well online. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Your YouTube has 500,000 yeah, 500 subscribers now. Has that given you the opportunity to cut like celebrities? I know you're a celebrity in our industry, but outside of the industry, have you got to cut anybody that yeah, you know, we get, might know? Yeah, I get a bunch of celebrities from Atlanta. I got, you know, Rallo before. Yeah, Dang. I got a Rallo before. I got T.I. I got both of his sons before. What? I got Twister, the PR team for Kanye. I got a couple bears player so hey so you got kind of close to yeah yeah yeah. You did the PR team, but I not was yet. hoping I could have got close to Ye, but yeah. you know that didn't. That's why that didn't happen. Man. That's very inspirational for you know a young barber coming up. I know you were talking a lot about the Babyliss Clippers over there, but I seen in one of your videos you were using the Flex trimmer. It looked yeah. like. So when it comes to trimmers, do you stick with Stylecraft? You move around a little bit. I like to bounce around a lot of trimmers. Precision is my thing. If I got to pick one pocket of barbering, mm -hmm. like the lineup to me has always been my favorite, my most important. The thing that I learned first, yeah, mm -hmm. the lineup. I try to give every tool a chance. I liked it the flexes, I liked it the sabers. Yeah. Uh, I never tried the details before. These right here? Yeah, I never You've never tried, tried these? No, I tried the corded, but I never tried it the cordless. No. Details, I mean, if you want to grab them, you want to add that to, to the bag? I do want to add the detailers, but before I add the detailers, I need to get the things that I definitely need to get. Y'all know we all started with these. These changed the game, they yeah. really did. But for us, these with the cord changed the game first. Yes, in the skeletal form. But once they went cordless, expectations couldn't be met. <laughs> something wrong, something, something with cost material or something. Yeah. 
Blaze wasn't consistent, Motor wasn't consistent, the field didn't feel the same. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I wouldn't lie to you. If I had to do Nike, Adidas, Go there. Puma, and Skechers. It's that's, Skechers? That's how I'm feeling. Okay, that's a stretch. Look, the reason that I'm feeling that way is because I never used detailers before, but I can tell you something from every trimmer on here besides detailers and T finishers and JRLs. Mm. I've used these, like these versus those as a smoke session. We won't even line those up. <laughs> it's not same even thing with FX3, same thing with low pros, same thing with these right here. What are you saying? They're smoking? Like... They're, yeah, they, oh, they'll okay. blow these out the water. Okay, all right. Okay, so if they're blowing them out the water, are you going Sabre or are you going FX3? Because these are both real hard slappers. I'm going FX3 and the reason that I'm going FX3, consistency. And for me, the FX3s, I still use my red ones to this day oh. with the same blade. They came super sharp, out the box ready. I'm FX3 all day. So we're gonna add an FX3? Let's add an FX3, an original gold. You gotta, you gotta get one boosted. So I'll do the black boosted. Those are my three that I want right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now, if you would've got to do the Kanye cut and you're going in to do his lineup, yeah. Tell me out of all these, what, what are you grabbing? Oh, I'm going with my babies. For real? Yes, sir. Even, because you know there's some new stuff that just came out from Babyliss, the FX1. So, yeah, me, but me personally. But you still going with the gold? Me personally, I'm going with these. I'm talking about number one selling wireless trimmer on the market. Nothing has did the numbers. Nothing was as consistent. The original gold blade itself beats everything on this wall. So that's what Yeezy's getting. Yes, sir. Is it with the modified blade that you get from the girl? The Shout bonus. her out. Shout her out. Yeah, so. Anybody that's, you know, paying attention to this whole uh, clipper shopping, uh, my girl Veronica, she from Indianapolis, located in LA now. Uh -huh. Her name is The Barbers. Her website is www.theblaze.store. So if you want modified blades to take your trimmers and your liners to the next level, go check my girl out. She's that's free baddest on the market. All right, that's a bet. So we're gonna do these for Yeezy. We're gonna yep. go all black over there. Did we decide on the detailers? No detailers, and the reason being is because you guys don't have these ones yet. And these right here. <laughs> Here are the FX1 yeah. Babeless Skeletals and I Promise. Man. Like they got the removable battery and everything. And so you can test them out. These but are to me, yeah. butter. Yeah. Butter. Complete butter. Like I, I believe, like, they feel amazing. Heaviness. Yeah. Everything is there. So we'll do these instead of your detailers. Let's do it. You loaded up on the trimmers, so now we can hit that shaver wall. Let's check out the shavers. All right, let's get it. All right, Ben, so I know we're kind of getting towards the end. We're at the Saber Wall. I was talking to one of your good friends, Sean Cut here, and he was telling me about a story when you were in Kentucky. He didn't really finish it, but maybe you can kind of give me some more. It wasn't details. much to say. He invited me to a wedding of a thousand white people, and I was the only black person. So, I mean, like, hey. I went there unaccepted, but they was actually accepting in the wedding. Mm. I just felt out of place. You had to be there for your brother, though, right? Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. I told him I was going to come six months before. I pulled up and I showed him. So how are you like with, with your finances? I know, you know, it's a touchy topic to get into, but you know, you're running up a little tab. So do you use that pie accounting service that Tune 45 has? Do you have your own CPA? How do you make sure your finances are good to set up your family? I'm you know? rolling pie automatically. Like it's so many things that I didn't know about how to run my finances. I'm rolling pie. Like when you become a millionaire, you can't just yeah. not pay taxes. You can't yeah. play with, with money. Like 245 Power Pie Accounting Services is what helped me learn how to put my money in the right places, mm. how to pay myself, how to become taxable, how to get ready to buy my own house and have multiple vehicles and things of that nature. So yeah, financial literacy can help you, you know, become financially free. Like I said, I'm a CPA, so I know all about it. But you know, for different situations, you might use different shavers I don't know because I don't personally cut but maybe you could give us some information okay so I like switching my shavers up so to start with I'm gonna just knock out what I started with I'm pretty sure every barber that come here most that came here if it ain't that burgundy oh, thing right one. there <laughs> it's this so yeah. I'm pretty sure it's between oh, this yeah. and this and that burgundy is gonna be everybody's first form of a shaver yeah. me personally situational I'm rocking with the new innovative UVs. Man. And the reason that I'm rocking with the UVs, like, come on, it's a UV lighting in the shaver. So That's, like, yeah, yeah, you still gotta clean it. This is the cleanest you're gonna get in terms of a shaver. Innovativeness, 
out the roof. My next shaver, situational, is always gonna be one of these. Uh, and the reason that I say one of these single shavers from Stylecraft is because if it comes to anything small, slight, burst of taper, yeah. anything that's just small, I can get the work done with this. Oh, it's more nice. ergonomic and it can fit in them tighter spots for me. So, that's what's up, all right. So I'm gonna use them too. You gonna grab this blue one? Yep, uh, that, and another UV. That's one. a nice little colorway right there with yeah. the blue on the, so. You yeah, wanna just do these colors? Yep. All right, cool. All right, well, if that's all you wanna grab, from right here, we can get you over to the checkout scene. You can see your total. Let's do it. All right. So, big man, I've had a blast with you, man. Shopping, getting to know more about you, your family, life in Chicago. Do you want to say anything to the Barber Plug followers before you get up out of here? Yeah, to all of the Barber Plug followers, if you need any supply, you need any education over all of these innovative tools in this industry and in this game, come here and get educated by the Barber Plug himself and by She Is The Barber Plug. <laughs> you got it right, you got and it right. And get you up to speed and get you right with every tool that you need to move your career forward. Man, I appreciate that. You got a million dollar smile. You're highly educated, heavy weighted, and highly paid, man. So I appreciate you coming through. Appreciate that. Now you bought your own bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> bought my own bag. You're What's ready. That? Yeah. You're ready. So let's see what this total is. When I looked earlier, it wasn't that bad. So you're actually less than 2000. It's kind of You're at 1940. Hey. I wanted to add, what if we add? Yeah, if you want to spend more, I mean, I can help you spend some more money. Okay, cool. Okay, so <laughs> I, I did clippers, trimmer, shaver. I don't have no detachables though. Okay. I always wanted to try the ZR2s and I always wanted to try the An Octa 76. Oh, a 76? I want to okay. do the 76 wireless because I actually do have an Octane in the shop. It's just not mine. So I want to have my own. Yeah, too. I want to switch try. it up, try something else. Okay, we can add those to the bag. I have these two bags here for you, but okay. do you want to take it with you today or you want to ship them? I want to take it. You want to take I'm it today? Gonna, oh, you're going to put it in your own bag? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me just add the ZR2 real quick, and then let me add the 76, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, whenever you're ready, tap. Oh, you can tap it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And before you leave and put everything in your own bag, I gotta take a picture outside in front of our logo with our bags. Okay, okay? I got you. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. I was just a young man.